Hey there, it's James from Roboflow. Today, I'm excited to announce the launch of Polygon Zone, a web utility that makes it easy to calculate the coordinates of polygons for computer vision applications. Polygon Zone is designed for building projects uh, that involve drawing regions of interest or zones, um, where you need to know the coordinates of specific pieces of either an image or um, a video. So Polygon Zone, available at rubberflow.com forward slash Polygon Zone, um, has a big box in which you can draw an image, uh, drag an image file here. So let me take one from a notebook I'm going to walk through in a minute, drag in. I can zoom into the image and then from here, click on the places where I want to draw my polygons. So maybe I want to draw this lane here as a polygon. I can do so um, by clicking on each point and then pressing enter to complete my polygon. And after I hit enter, um, I see the coordinates for the polygon I've just drawn in an array of NumPy array objects. Um, I can draw multiple polygons and as I do, the points for my polygons are updated in this NumPy point section. This code can be directly copy and pasted into um, the various different Python um, packages that work with uh, NumPy arrays for polygons. So an example is OpenCV or uh, RoboFlow Supervision that we'll be using in a minute. Um, in addition, there's also JSON points available at the bottom should you be using another programming language or should JSON be easier for you to work with. Um, so now that we've walked through the, um, the basics of Polygon Zone, let's use it to solve a real world computer vision problem. In this case, we're going to count how many objects appear in each of the two lanes that we've, uh, for which we've drawn polygons here. So to get started, we're going to go over to our notebook for this project. The link for this notebook is in the description below. Um, this notebook will walk us through the process of installing Yolo V8 in supervision, preparing polygon zones for a traffic video, and running inference on the video, and then saving the results of inference to a file. So let's begin by installing, as always, the required dependencies. Um, we'll be using Supervision, RubbleFlow's open source package of various different uh, utilities useful in building computer vision applications, as well as Ultralytics, um, whose YOLO V8 model we'll be using in this project. We'll also download the, uh, a video of traffic, um, which we'll be using in this project. To give you a quick preview, here's what the video looks like. So we have cars everywhere, but in particular, we want to focus on these two lanes of cars here. And we're going to count how many cars are in each lane at, uh, in, in each frame of the video. So now that our video is downloaded, we can scroll down and, and uh, download the model weights for this project. And um, we're going to be using out of the box YOLO V8 weights, um, specifically the YOLO V8S weights and um, th uh, these come pre-packaged with uh, the, the YOLO V8 model. We would recommend for a production application, of course, um, training a custom model. If you're interested in doing that, we have another YouTube video as well as an accompanying notebook that walks through how to train a custom YOLO V8 object detection model. We'll link to that in, in a card in this video as well as the video description. From here, um, now that we've uh, downloaded and loaded our model weights, um, we can uh, save the first frame in our video. Now, the reason this is important is because um, we need to be able to draw polygons um, according to the aspect ratio and the resolution of um, our video. Now, it's uh, an easy way to uh, kind of get a representation of that is to take the first frame of the video. Alternatively, we could, if we were, uh, say, iterating over a folder of different images, we could just, uh, all of the same resolution, we could just take one of those images. So for here, we are um, going to run this code to get the first frame of our video using a function in supervision called get video frames generator, and we'll take the first frame. Now this will save to a file, um, the first frame uh, in a file called firstframe.png. I already have one of these, um, so and that's what I annotated here. So in Polygon Zone, I drew two polygons. I drew one on the left side and one on the right side, um, corresponding to roughly the lanes in, um, or rather the two uh, big lanes in this image. And I have coordinates here. Now I can take these coordinates and paste them directly into my notebook. 
In the next section of this notebook um, is a polygon array. There's just a, an example one here, but I can paste in my polygons here. Um, this create, this uh, initializes two polygons, um, so the ones that we just drew on our image. So we can run this and it'll tell our notebook, okay, hey, here's where our polygons are. Now next, uh, we're ready to start running inference. Um, but before we do that, we need to initialize our zones and our annotators so that we can draw both the polygons onto the video uh, or each frame of the video with which we'll be working, uh, that one that we downloaded earlier. Um, and also um, make sure that we have um, uh, a function in place that allows us to process each frame and run inference using YOLO V8. Um, now, all of these are methods in the supervision package. Uh, we'll draw our zones, our zone annotators, and our box annotators, um, and we will retrieve all detections from the model. Here we could filter out by, say, confidence level, but for, um, for the purpose of this video, we'll just include all predictions. Now, supervision will take our polygons and draw two zones onto an image, um, and so we'll count the number of objects in each zone. So let's run this cell here to initialize our zones. And then now we can run inference on a frame in our video. So let's run this cell here. This will take a moment just as uh, YOLO V8 boots up. Um, and we will uh, show the first, well, the next frame in our video. So let's see what happens here. It'll take a little moment. You can see that now we have um, an annotated image with two lanes. We have uh, this one on the left and this one on the right. And we also have bounding boxes drawn around the predictions as well as the um, confidence level of each prediction. So here we've got a card, um, a 66% confident there's a card there. Um, on this right lane here, um, we notice that a lot of the predictions aren't being picked up. The reason for that is we are using an out-of-the-box small model and we would expect much greater accuracy with one that had been fine-tuned to the specific use case of uh, identifying traffic. But here we see it, it got one of the, the trucks. It's got various different cars too. And there's also these big boxes here. Um, these boxes uh, show how many objects are in each zone. So our polygon coordinates have been taken, which we drew on polygon zone here. And we have um, got a count. So we've got 12 uh, cars in this one that the model has found and nine in this one. Of course, there are a lot more, but that's where um, fine tuning our model would be prudent. And then the final step is to run video inference. Um, supervision has a method called process video, which takes in a video and saves to a target path um, the result of inference. This iterates through every single frame um, using that, that function that we defined earlier, process frame, runs in our case YOLO V8 and will draw all of the annotations. Now this takes a while, so I've already got a pre-made video that I can show you here of inference. So this is one I did earlier um, with two slightly different polygons, uh, also drawn on polygon zone. And if I run this, you can see that over time the counts are changing, uh, different bounding boxes are being drawn as cars come in, um, and we're seeing uh, predictions being made throughout each frame in our video. And we can see lorries being counted um, and cars too. Um, so yeah, that's how to use Polygon Zone to run inference on um, both an image, which we did here, where the image was a single frame of our video, as well as um, running video inference too, which you can do using this cell. Again, the link for this notebook will be in the description below. Um, this project is open source at github.com forward slash roboflow forward slash polygon zone. Should you be interested in contributing or should you find any ways in which we could improve the project, we're always eager to um, help expanding these projects to make it even easier to work on uh, computer vision projects uh, throughout every stage of the pipeline. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, we hope you're able to make use of Polygon Zone in drawing zones and regions of interest in your computer vision projects. See ya.